Whether it's the latest equipment, software, or imaging technology, the Center for Medical Imaging has it covered, including nuclear medicine. In the United States, the number of nuclear medicine procedures has grown from approximately 14 million in 1999 to almost 20 million in 2005. A study performed in 2007 investigated the worldwide use of nuclear cardiology. The study's findings, published in the Journal of Nuclear Medicine, indicated that nuclear cardiology procedures were used most extensively in the United States, with 1,000 or more procedures performed per 100,000 people. Sterling Elder, Operations Manager at the Center for Medical Imaging, explains nuclear medicine and the role of nuclear technologists. Nuclear medicine is an imaging modality where we take pictures using radioactive materials. Now, the images that are performed in nuclear medicine are different from other imaging modalities because we're looking at physiology or how things work in the body. Most of the time when you're looking at x-rays and CTs, you're looking more anatomically what's there. But in nuclear medicine, we look at function. We look to see how different organ systems in the body are working, whether it's looking at the lungs to see if there's good blood flow and good air exchange going on, see if the kidneys are functioning the way that they should be, whether or not there's good blood flow to the brain, whether or not there's good blood flow into the muscle of the heart, see how well the heart is beating. So those are the types of tests that we do in nuclear medicine. The radiation exposure that a patient gets in a typical nuclear medicine test is fairly minimal, about the same as one would get with a standard chest x-ray. Probably one of the most common nuclear medicine tests that a lot of people will be familiar with are cardiac stress tests. Many people are familiar with going in and walking on a treadmill to test and see how good their heart works. What we will do is inject the radioactive material that actually winds up getting taken up by the muscle of the heart. So we take pictures of the patient's heart after they've undergone the stress basically getting a snapshot of what the heart looks like, what the muscle of the heart looks like at the peak of their exercise. We'll also do a set of pictures uh, with the heart at rest, completely at rest, where they haven't been stressed at all, and then compare the two. If you only do a treadmill test, you can have an abnormal EKG, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there's something wrong with the muscle of the heart. It's fairly common now that the stress test is performed as a nuclear stress test, as opposed to doing just a stress without the nuclear part. We've included information on the American College of Radiology Certified Radiologists and Imaging Technologies at the Center for Medical Imaging under the Nuclear Medicine Story Link on our homepage, yourhometownhealth.com.